Hello world. This is uh, for anybody who's thinking about buying one of these. Um, they're cheap. You can buy this particular one. Uh, this has got the uh, the air gun and the solder, the solder on. And the I I bought this. I think it was like fifty something pounds, but I've seen them for as little as uh, just under fifty pounds. Uh, no, sorry, 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 sort of thirty nine pounds something on eBay. Oh, I on purposely went for one that didn't have a brand because I'd seen so many of the different names. Um, and I don't think I ever quite understood what the plus was for. The D's for digital, I think, because of the digital readouts. You've got a readout for the air gun. That's for the temperature. This is for the speed. This little uh, turny, turny knob there. And you've got the. Um, this is for the solder iron. You press enter, and then you go up and down in temperature. Press enter and it goes to that temperature whether it's less or more than what you had it before. Pretty basic operation. You switch either of them on and off. That's for the solder iron. This is for the um, air gun and there is actually a switch on the back. switch on the back um, which is good then it even has a, a safety fuse and the on off switch there I probably wouldn't you know buy one and just take it apart I've had to because well this one had a bit of a problem it was basically my my error, but never mind. These things happen. I'll tell you about that in a second. Uh, there's the back. There's the inside. There's the transformer. It's got a, a few taps coming off it, and this is the board. You know, it doesn't look terribly bad. It's not as good as, um, I'm sure, as good as uh, a lot of the, the top brands. But it's not terribly bad either. I put a different type of solder iron in. Because the one that came with it, um, it's not, it's not very strong. It's not very good. You start. I um, I use one of these things. It's got like a wire wall. It's supposed to be brass, but mm, I don't know about that. But anyway, it's um, it's helpful for cleaning the tip of the solder iron. You know, sometimes when you might forget about it a little bit, it might be distracted and leave your solder iron there, and it messes up at the end. And that's quite good for cleaning it off, uh, as well as the. Uh, as well as a wet sponge and uh, I think I was applying too much pressure but there's a ring on the solid iron uh, this, this ring they're, they're quite they're quite weak really and the other solid iron that's a bit rattling that's because it's changed temperature I think um, the other uh, solid iron this bit broke the heat made it crack, lots of little bits were coming off it to start off with, and then it broke. Um, so I ended up wrapping lots of tape around it. But I got one of these basically, these uh, sold Ryan's. I just thought it'd be five pin replacement. Just swap it in, then I added, and bang! Something went bang inside this. And it turned out to be. Turn out to be this 
component just here. See if we can get to see that. And you see how you can actually see it's a, it was a triac. Um, and you can see this little copper or something on the back. I'm not quite sure what that is. I'm looking through my light lens through the front of the camera to that just to make sure there's enough light so you can see. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty damaged, and that's that's what I've got to take out today. I'm going to take it and swap it. Uh, I ordered. Well, RS. Was it RS? No, Maplin's only had them in America and it was going to cost me £15 or something to get one shipped. So I decided to to wait and for like 99p. I got 10 of the darn things. I had to wait. Well, I think it's been about 10, 11 days for them to get here. Um, but I got 10 for half the price of one. And so, I know they're the, the, the right ones, uh, exact, well, they're marked up to be correct. Let's see what they are. They're, um... I can't read what it says on that. Mm, I'll do that one, I've got one out. I can't read through the, through the plastic. Um, but yeah, that's the, uh, that's the replacement track. So... I'm going to take all this apart, I'm going to take these bolts off, these little nuts off here, each corner, um, to pull this all out, and then get to underneath, and desolder the underneath, and screw, and hopefully it should be a painless changeover, now I'll put all the earth and such back, and then basically just turn it over, power it up and see if I get the desired effects and if I do I'll put it all back together again and say that's a success and if I don't oh, I'll have to see what else has gone wrong but like I say I mean I plugged it in turned on it bang inside I switched it back off again I've used I've used the uh, hot air since as that still works just this just reports as an error but this side works that this works, so uh, yeah, not all is lost. All is lost, so I am going to undo these and get on with the other side. I can't hold the camera and do all this at the same time, so I'm just gonna have to pause filming for now to get these nuts undone. Okay, so I've pulled that off. I've just put this bag here because I don't want to scratch the inside of these um, the windows because no, I think that'll make it look a bit tat so I've put a bag there um, which actually has the handle for my power supply there it's got that in it but never mind and in case anybody wondered yes this this is unplugged um, yeah so so this is what we got on this side. Um, and hopefully, you know, everything else on here isn't really going to be going to be damaged. You can see they've locked all these down. It would be nice if they would put some sort of anti-vibration washer on this, you know, the anti-shake loose type. Uh, I'll dig one out and I'll put one on. Not that I think, you know, it's just a, uh, it's just good. It's got a good, a good wash on there, especially as it's the, uh, the earth uh, point. Yeah. So fingers crossed, everything else in here is okay. And it's just a case of unsoldering that there. Wow, look at that. Can you actually see that? Mm. 
No, this camera's not going to focus in. It's, a, it's a, you know, it's, it, I, I bought the phone to be a phone, to be fair, and I didn't really get it for a camera. I didn't even think I was going to do anything like this. Uh, but it's quite funny how courses of events, things can change your life. You're on one path and things happen and you end up going down another. It's a bit mm, twiddly dee. Deviating. Here's a. I presume it's because it's uh, to carry a heavier current as this thing, uh, this track's uh, got an 8 amp capability. So. I think I might have to push that chip down into the. Uh... <laughs> oh, maybe it won't go. It just—it doesn't look like it's in there very good. Um, it doesn't actually move, so maybe they popped a bit of glue, or maybe that's just good enough anyway. Surprise, it's not direct on the board. But maybe there's a reason for that. I don't know. Yeah. Yep, not going to play with them too much. I don't think it's the highest quality components or anything. I think it's just uh, a value, a value type of thing as far as I'm concerned, as long as it works and it can be a backup. Um, or if the other one fails or if I need two for some reason or I need two different irons on the go at two different temperatures at the same time. Anyway, it's back to the job at hand. And I just noticed that I haven't actually switched the other one on. So, there we go. This one's quite a nice little iron, really. Don't get me wrong, it's still another cheap one. It costs a little bit more than this does, and it doesn't have hot air on it. So I'm hoping that um, the extra just goes into the quality of keeping a constant temperature. Even though, to be fair, I've had that one there. That was a new new one of those that came this morning because the other one started to develop a tick. Or a click. Where it's just that click, 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 click. It was a bit unnerving, so they swapped them out. Uh, and I know that the other one didn't really keep constant temperature because, well, maybe it did. Maybe it's just my very naive, novice soldering skills, but anyway, let's get on with it. And then I've just whipped the screw out of this and so I'll push this away from the heat sink and I'm quite glad to see there's no thermal coupling paste there because I'd have to do a whole lot of looking up then to see if this is conductive and non-conductive, whether it wants to be attached to this or not. Well, obviously it doesn't really matter, because one, there's no coupling coupling bays, there's no mica, there's nothing to separate this from this to isolate it, so... And I don't have any more coupling, uh, non-conductive. I used it all up when I built my high voltage power supply using 2055s, 3055s, sorry. A couple of those in parallel, works quite good. So, I'm going to turn this over now, the iron's heated, and just whip this out, and whip another one in. I can't hold the camera at the same time, I don't have any any facility for doing it either, so I'm afraid I have to put the camera down. So, that's out. Here it is, I'll just bring it up there. So that component is slightly damaged. It didn't win the war, and I just hope that that's, you know, that's the only, uh, that's the only thing that's died. Quite 
quite a bit of difference between the two. Uh, it saying is BT one three seven six hundred E MPX Triac. I'm going to pop this in there. We're going to see if this works. Okay, so we've got that soldered in. I I tend to just very gently just spread slightly. And I put the screw back in as well, make sure that the heat sink is sat correctly, and then I solder. So I'm just going to nip these off with the wire snips, and um, and then test it out. I'll connect it back in, in the, into the fascia, put the nuts back down, especially on this safety, and I'll find a little a little shake shake proof washer well I hope I will um, and yeah and then we'll go about putting it back together again well, I couldn't uh, hold on. <coughs> I couldn't find um, uh, a shake proof washer so what I've done is I've Tightened another nut on top of the nut, which effectively works pretty much in a similar sort of fashion. This can't undo because this one's on top, and for them both to undo, yeah. there you go. That's just trying to make the the best out of a not so great job. So I shall now put the front on just by pegging a couple of screws. Um, just by nipping a couple of screws up, just hold it in place and then just try it out and, and see if we got success from that point. Or should I say, to see if we're successful to this point. Now, before I, um, I was just having a little look around for the iron. Oh, I see it. Okay. Oh, I think that is. No, that's another iron. Anyway, um, before I power this up, I don't know how accurate or inaccurate this device is. I have a thermometer that I could place the nozzle of the hot air to, but if this reads here, let's say 400, and it's not correct because I've put a probe at the end of the nozzle and I'm expecting to see 400, I have to take into account some variables and the variables with this are going to be including this the speed the ambient temperature of this room there's going to be lots of variables the accuracy of this which I don't expect to be too high you all remember this is like less than well like I said I've seen them for £49 uh, £39.99 including free delivery so you're basically getting all this for that money. I think that's an exceptional buy. I don't think you can build it for that. And I think that's an exceptional buy that you've actually got an iron. Um, which does work. Um, it may not be absolutely perfect um, for temperature keeping or for being the highest of quality. But it works and it will get you by. And also you've got the hot air gun, which also works. And you get a you get a few of these, and they're very easy to put on and take off, especially when it's a cold iron and not a hot iron. I'd say be careful um, when it's hot. Be very careful. So yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I just know that it does. Uh, it does work. It doesn't make any awful noises. It doesn't do anything dodgy, as far as I can tell. The plugging in of a different iron. I, I told myself I'll get another iron. I'll just check the pinouts. I checked the pinouts just to ensure that I wasn't going to do that. Um, I didn't, and I just plugged in. Took the chance. A lot of the time, you know, you check the pinouts. Everything's okay. Took the chance. Without checking in, <laughs> that can happen. So, 
So, I'm gonna just get my hands on the iron and plug in and we'll see what happens. That would be great for continuity if everything was, you know, the same as what it was when I had to pause the video and go off and do about 10 different things and come back. Um, so I'm hoping that the light's relatively the same. But, so, right, I've just plugged it in. Um, I've put the, the iron back on. Um, and I'm going to flip the power switch. Now before, this wouldn't go bang or anything terrible. Uh, if I put the power on, so... Okay, well, it's nice to see that both sides, that's automatically going up in temperature. So I'm going to switch that back off again. I'm going to switch that off again. I didn't realise they were both switched on. Um, but then I didn't expect it to do anything untoward either. So, all in all, for the repair costs, I don't know what that was. Um, it cost me about 98p or something, or £1.38. Uh, hold on, I'm going to verify that. Ah, I made a mistake. £1.15 for 10 Yep. £1.15 for 10 Please forgive the mess. As I've been playing with bits and pieces. So, yeah, well chuffed. Well chuffed. We have now got a solder iron uh, that works. And it was nice just to hear. You can hear a slight hum from the transformer. Nice to hear it, um, not hum, and that's doing exactly what it used to do. And this, um, there we go. We flip this side on, of course, until I take that out. Oh, that's a hot iron now, so I don't, I don't really want to. I don't know if you can hear that. That's working too, and my battery's about to go. So, that will uh, start going down in temperature again. And I can actually switch this off on here, and it will still uh, warm itself down, as it were. Okay. Right, I think that's it for this. Um, it's been a successful fix, and I'm happy with that. Now I've got another spare. Solar station in case the other one goes down. Brilliant. Thanks for watching.